truth about what actually transpired at the Lekki toll gate on October 20th, 2020 has been revealed. Even though the Nigerian Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, did all he could to discredit reports that claimed protesters were killed at the toll gates. However, despite Lai Mohamed's claims that no protester was killed at the Lekki toll gate, the report released by the judicial panel set up by the Lagos state government showed obvious evidence that there was indeed a massacre at the Lekki toll gate. Recall that in November 2020, the Nigerian Minister of Information accused CNN of misleading Nigerians with its report, saying that the international platform left out videos which would have shown that armed hoodlums invaded the Lekki toll gate and shot at unarmed protesters at, at that fateful night. Also, in January, Lai Mohamed asked Amnesty International to provide evidence that 12 protesters were actually killed during the shooting at the Lekki toll gate on October 20th, 2020 or short up. Truth be told, Lai Mohamed did all he could to dismiss all the evidences brought forward by CNN and other reputable platforms. But as God would have it, the, the truth has been made known to everyone. According to the report which was released by the judicial panel set up by the Lagos state government to investigate the shooting incident, Soldiers shot and killed protesters on that fateful day, even though some of them were waving the Nigerian flag and singing the national anthem. Many groups have called on President Mubari to sack and arrest Lai Mohamed for trying to hide the truth about what actually transpired at the Lekki toll gate on October 20th, 2020. They said he lied to Nigerians and the entire world as a whole, and as such, he does not deserve to remain in office as a minister. President Barry must take decisive action and ensure that those who were directly or indirectly involved in the Lekki Toll Gate massacre are brought to justice. Those who also claimed that Protesters were not killed at the toll gate must be called to order unless their denial was in the interest of peace and calmness. If Lai Mohamed had a reason for constantly denying the fact that protesters were killed at the Lekki toll gate, he should state it. But if it was a deliberate attempt to cover up for those involved in the act and misled Nigerians, he deserves to be sacked. Now that the findings of the panel have been made public, Lai Mohamed should apologize to Nigerians, most especially the families of those who were killed at the toll gate. By so doing, Nigerians will know that he is remorseful and he is ready to make amends for his wrong. What do you have to say about this? Please drop your ration on the comment section and your voice will be heard and clear around the world. My dear Saturn, please ensure you subscribe to our channel, make this report viral at the end of today's broadcast and uh, ensure you subscribe to our channel as we wait for your ration on the, on the comment section. We have a lot of rations here already and uh, we are ready to do justice to these rations that we have here. The first reaction that we have here is from um, Eto Dollar. Eto Dollar says, uh, I pity the children of this man I know by now. Some of them will consider changing their father's name. Then uh, uh, there's a reaction to Eto Dollar comment and uh, the reaction is from uh, 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 K2. K2 says a uh, rubbish report. The report is only biased because it doesn't consider those who were killed by the protesters and who their properties destroyed. Is that the meaning of justice? 
we come again with this person's reaction. He said, rubbish report. The report is only biased because it doesn't consider those who were killed by the protesters and or their properties destroyed. Is that the meaning of justice? Okay. What's the ration to okay, to comment? Please uh, drop your ration. Then uh, also to uh, uh, BCU, uh, BCU, uh, Ishola also drop a ration saying that uh, I have never liked the man. He is full of annoying lies apart from answers. Okay. Then uh, there's a three, uh, three replies to uh, Biz Ishola comment and uh, the first ration is from a uh, Guru and he says, which other thing has he lied about? He say, which other thing has he lied about? Hmm. Guru asked. Then uh, also to Ade Bimpe also drop a, a, a reply to uh, BC Ishola comment saying that uh, everything about him is lie. Let's start from his name. Okay, <laughs> very funny. Then uh, uh, okay. Also, too, uh, someone else dropped a ration saying that uh, he said that Boko Haram has been defeated. Okay? He said that Boko Haram has been defeated. Then uh, Shine, Shine Du AGK also dropped a, a, a comment saying that uh, completely rubbish write up. If you expect Alaji Lai Mohammed to apologize to who, which families that didn't show up. Keep deceiving yourself and fellow gullible people on a leaked report to arm twist the government. Then uh, Shinedu comments, uh, Shinedu AGK comments has uh, four replies, and the first is from a um, is from a uh, 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 Robo. Robo says, uh, "I wonder why we blindly defend our leaders when they are the ones making life unbearable for us." Then uh, Geb also replied saying that uh, what are you saying? Said he to lie. You are saying nonsense. Okay. Then uh, also to okay, a, 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 a care to also drop a reply again saying that uh, the report does not consider other victims that were killed by the protesters and all their properties destroyed. Okay, we have taken this before. Then uh, also to according to Koye Emmanuel uh, Byron also dropped a comment saying that a chameleon cannot but always deceive with its colors. All right, my viewers, at all time is never a friend. This is where we draw the curtain. Thanks and God bless and bye for now.